Good morning, folks. Today we're going to hit three scientific studies that break new ground in high energy astrophysics, subatomic particle physics, and underwater catastrophes. We also have to keep up the solar watch due to high sunspot numbers, and that is where we will begin the last 24 hours on our star. More lower level M class solar flares, a couple filament eruptions as well, like tiny warning shots from a foe capable of much greater. There's currently a flood of active regions on the Earth facing half of the sun containing significant magnetic orientations within the sunspots, but thus far they have produced only smaller flares and no significant CMEs towards the Earth. As you can see, there's a lot to keep an eye on, despite their patience and calm thus far. Up next, we're going to active galactic nuclei. The study is about black holes, but despite what we have seen several times about the problems with black hole physics, those stop at the event horizon. The surrounding regions are far less messy, and now they understand how magnetic fields and their impact on plasma around these massive galactic nuclei create X-rays via electromagnetic turbulence. This would be like the Van Allen belts of a galaxy at the interior most regions of the system. Up next, we're going from the very large to the very small, and we find that once again, no matter how many times they tell us they have it all figured out, they're going to discover something new. The heaviest exotic antimatter nucleus ever seen was produced in a collider and it is changing how the matter versus antimatter balance of the cosmos is being understood, as well as the combination power of these elusive members of the strange particle physics group. Last but not least, 60,000 years ago they say a massive underwater landslide completely changed how the sea floor looks off the coast of Morocco and into the Atlantic. Interestingly, the description doesn't seem so likely beneath the sea, almost like it happened when the area wasn't covered with water. The fact that it is along the undersea canyons Doug Vogt described offers imagination to a well-versed observer in this case. Comment below if you understand. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.